the adaptive lights, you have to kind of be going forward quite a quite a bit of a little bit of a speed here for them to activate. So now you can see them moving here. Um, and also, same thing with the cornering light. Uh, you, you, it's not like you can just sit still and move the headlights and, every, and get the cornering light to turn on. Um, so I have to kind of drive forward and to show you what, what it looks like here from my perspective. So when I turn right, that cornering light turns on. When I turn left, the left one turns on and then the lights actually are moving back and forth. Now the, the movement of the headlights with the steering wheel, to me it doesn't add much. Maybe to some people it might help, um, but to me it's not really, doesn't really make a difference. The cornering light makes the biggest difference to me. So as we drive, uh, that cutoff that we saw before, the one that shines on the camera, um, that was shining on my camera, was about two and a half feet off the ground. Well, on the oncoming lane, it's a little bit lower. Uh, both of those projectors, the way they, they're they aligned, it kind of casts a little bit of a shadow on the oncoming lane uh, to help, to try to help avoid oncoming traffic. Uh, but as you can see, we're going up and down hills here and so that line can go up quite a bit higher than if you're on level ground uh, and that's where you know it could potentially cause a problem with getting that bright light in people's faces so the oncoming lane being dipped down kind of helps out with that but it's still an issue you know for the vehicles directly in front of you and that kind of stuff okay so there is the low beams and wait for the automatic high beams to kick in. Alright, so there's the high beams. I just have to manually do it because they take forever. Um, so the, yeah, there's the low beams. There's the high beams. And we're not... It's not like we're adding additional light. Well, we are getting additional distance there. So you can see that light there at the, on the trees. Um, it just kind of adds that additional light there at that higher position. Uh, but it's not like a spectacular improvement. Yeah, I mean, it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's it's pretty good. There's a little bit patchiness and stuff because we're only, we only have two points of light. Uh, so considering what we have uh, to deal with, uh, it's actually not bad. The low beams are good because we can see that up close to the vehicle. And when we go ahead and switch to high beams, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, considering the height of the vehicle, considering there's only two projectors, it's pretty decent. The only thing I question is the, you know, the, the, the active movement, you know, is that really helping out? And, you know, you can say that it helps out a little bit. So I'm moving the steering wheel a little bit. You can see it shifts that shadow to the left where it's supposed to be on the oncoming lane. But I have to turn the steering wheel quite a ways to make it move over there. Um, I'm going to go this way. It doesn't really help much. So yeah, there's the high beams. So you can see a little patchiness with the high beams. But um, but yeah, I think that... I think if they had an additional light source, so a separate light that's in a separate, you know, like a, a reflector or projector, an additional one instead of just two, I think it'd be a little bit better. Um, but as it is right now, it's fine. I mean, it's 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 not a spectacular or anything, but it's definitely not bad at all.